Thanks. Um, <clears throat> last week, General Brown said the in response to the uh, to the attack in in Iraq, um, which the Pentagon attributed to an Iran-backed group, he said that the U.S. would respond at a time and place of, of its choosing. Previously, you guys have said we reserve the right to do so. Does that mean? Can we interpret that as a decision has been made that the U.S. will respond? Or yeah. Yeah, thanks for the question, Joseph. So, you know, I'm not going to forecast or telegraph any potential future operations. I think what the chairman was saying, and, and he's right, is that we always reserve the right to respond at a time and place of our choosing and that we will put the protection of our forces uh, first and foremost, the safety of our forces. So I'll just leave it there. And then secondly, um, the Yemen Houthis this morning have put out a new uh, list of targets that they may um, attack in Israel. <laughs> Among them includes the or what they say is the port of Ashdod, where the U.S. has uh, transitioned the, the Gaza pier to the port of Ashdod for humanitarian aid. Are you, one, are you guys taking these threats seriously? Two, is there any concern that uh, any U.S. assets could be in danger? Apart from the, the Red Sea, obviously, that's attacks have been going on. Uh, so a couple things. So I think is uh, demonstrated by our actions in the region. Uh, we're absolutely taking uh, any Houthi threats seriously and continue to work with allies and partners to degrade and disrupt their capability to launch attacks uh, in the Red Sea uh, and in the in the region. Um, as it relates to you know the potential impact on U.S. forces, as I just highlighted, it will take all necessary measures to ensure that our forces are protected uh, and take appropriate actions. Uh, but again, I won't get into potential future Just actions. Quickly, um, sources have, s s have told us that the U.S. shot down either drones or missiles as part of the, both the attack on Tel Aviv, where one drone obviously got through. Can you confirm or deny that the U.S. shot down any or, or helped in the self-defense? Yeah, I don't, I don't have anything to provide beyond what CENTCOM has already put out in their daily CENTCOM updates. Um, so just leave it there. 